let me expand this 1 plus x whole power n so wherever a is present i have to write 1 so 1 power something 1 power something 1 power something 1 power something is always 1 only that's why i am not writing this that term 1 plus n into x plus n into n minus 1 by 2 x square plus n into n minus 1 n minus 2 by 6 x cube plus and so on and let me go for 1 plus x whole power minus 1 wherever n is present you have to substitute minus 1 in this equation so 1 plus minus 1 into x plus minus 1 into minus 1 minus 1 by 2 x square plus minus 1 into minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 by 6 x cube plus and so on that is 1 minus x here you will be having minus 2 into minus 1 you will be getting 2 plus 2 plus 2 by 2 1 so plus x square next here minus 3 into minus 2 plus 6 plus 6 by 6 1 that 1 into minus 1 again minus x cube plus x power 4 minus x power 5 plus x power 6 minus x power 7 plus x power 8 and so on that is what you are going to get very simple in the same way because already i told you if n is positive number then only you are having ending term if it is negative or fraction there is no ending term you are having infinite terms in the same way for any fraction positive or negative fraction you can go for it this is the answer for first question that i have raised in the beginning of this topic and next one